April 21st, 2018. I am still reading the James Comey book. I'm still only at page 12. I read terrifyingly slow. see it at the time, but the terrifying experience was, in its own way, also an incredible gift. Believing, knowing in my mind that I was going to die and then surviving made life seem like a precious, delicate miracle. As a high school senior, I started watching sunsets, looking at buds on trees and noticing the beauty of our world. That feeling lasts to this day, though sometimes it expresses itself in ways that might seem corny to people who fortunately never had the experience of measuring their time on this earth in seconds. This is as Kofifi as Kofifi gets. It is a first-hand experience of the first pillar of the Kofifi faith. The faith in goodness. And the faith that in every experience, no matter how terrifying, tragic, sad, bad and wrong it is, there is the seed of goodness. The Ramsey Rapist taught me at an early age that many of the things we think are valuable have no value. Whenever I speak to young people, I suggest they do something that might seem a little odd. Close your eyes, sit there, and imagine you're at the end of your life. From that vantage point, the smoke of striving for recognition and wealth is cleared. Houses, cars, awards on the wall. Who cares? You are about to die. Who do you want to have been? I tell them that I hope some of them decide to have been people who use their abilities to help those who needed it. The weak, the struggling, the frightened, the bullied. Standing for something. Making a difference. That is true wealth. <laughs>